YouTube, what's good? It's your boy LeBron, potent pondering. I'm back with another video. Please come in and thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, mm -hmm. hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every time that I go live or I do uploads. Shout out to all of my new subscribers. Also, shout out to my returning subscribers. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I wanted to bring up is a situation with Tiffany Haddish. So Tiffany Haddish sat down and she did, she was with a podcast with the Amanda D. Cap, uh, Kidnet. Catnet's uh podcast and Tiffany said that she's been you know without any uh drinks for the past 90 days following her she you know she got arrested for a DUI and she said it's not that hard for me because it really wasn't my main thing anyway <laughs> what's your main thing you know what I'm saying what is the main thing you into so Tiffany said I haven't had any um drinks or she hasn't you know in smoked anything in the last 72 days it's not that hard whatever whatever if you recall tiffany racked up two duis over the past two years which most recent one coming in november of 2023 tiffany says that due to her legal situation she had to give up on her vices and i think that's good anytime because listen certain things like that and then you know you get it only really takes one drink when sometimes when you go to traffic court you see some of the most prestige people up in there they got caught up from having one two three glasses of wine and then you know they hit the streets and then they they get pulled over and then they end up in court so uh i hope i wish tiffany the best and let's move on i wanted to talk about uh this situation with Samia Spain. I know I spoke about this in the video before. She was a 20 year old girl. She has a twin sister and uh, her and her twin sister were, uh, you know, punctured. She ended up succumbing to her injuries and she was unalive by this man in the picture. So he was, he, he turned himself in. So neighbors, it looks like justice is being served for the 19 year old girl, Samia Spain, who was unalive on Sunday, as we previously reported. The man spotted is in the now viral video took place before the altercation turned himself in on Friday morning. His identity was revealed to be 20 year old by the name of Vio Kelly. His he was charged with unaliving her and you know, with the weapon possession. This was so unfortunate. Young ladies, let me tell you something. It's, it's, I feel like you could, people can give you a, you know, so, so much advice on this situation, like protect yourself. Get you always think of survival when you in these situations. Yes, I understand. Like I said it before, no means no. You should be able to tell the person, no, I don't want you. I don't want to give you my number. I don't want to add you to my Instagram. But if you feel like the situation is rocky, get yourself out that situation. This was unfortunate. And the truth to me, I'm not putting her name in this title, but I'm going to say this because I don't, you know, family search things. But I felt like her sister. I don't want to blame nobody. The blame is this boy. But her sister, like, pulling away and saying, no, no, no. Like, I I, I just feel like it would have been a different story if, like, oh. rest in peace to Samia Spain. My heart goes out to her family. Let's, like, look at a, this clip. You see, this was outside of the, the, this was right before the situation took place. Crazy, man. So that was inside of the Park Slope, Brooklyn, um, Delhi. I also want to bring this up. This is her mom. Her tears run deep after losing her 19-year-old daughter, Samaya Spain. This cell phone video obtained by Pix11 News shows the moment Spain and her twin sister, Sanaya, were brutally attacked. That's Samaya apparently being stabbed in the chest and neck. But we are stopping the video right there. Those were deadly points that he punctured in her body, that even if she fought it, I don't think she could have won the fight. LaShawn Goodson is more than heartbroken, thinking about the death of her daughter, but how she died, Goodson says, makes the pain that much harder. She didn't want to be bothered. Why did she have to die? Because she, you're not who she want to be a company. Because people are out here running around, running rampant with mental illnesses, undiagnosed, unchecked, untreated. This is unfortunate. This girl life ain't even start yet, yo. Like, walk away don't don't hit on no girl don't fight no female no matter what it all started early sunday morning her twins went to grab food at this deli on saint mark's plate <laughs> her tears run deep after losing so listen my heart goes out to the spain family to anybody who knows this girl it's unfortunate ladies be out here and protect yourself let's move right into the illuminati princess princess so Megan Thee Stallion, the one that sit that down Julio by the gala and chilling on the Calabasas with them bastards. She got a bachelor's. Now she's trying to get a master's. But they said that Kelsey did the classes. Kelsey out here going to Mickey Minaj tours. You know what I'm saying? So they, so Megan Thee Stallion, you know, she announced her hot girl tour. 
featuring Glorilla, and they want us to believe that Megan Thee Stallion is selling out all these dates. Now, I know a lot of y'all would like to, res to, to like to assume that I'm just a hater or whatever, and you've heard me say out here multiple times, and I mean this from the, <clears throat> excuse me, from the bottom of my heart. I do wish Megan Thee Stallion the best. I do want her to be successful in everything, and I know that that can seem uh, convoluted with my messaging saying that I don't believe she sold these dates out. These are arena dates. Let's just let's just let's just keep it clear. Megan Thee Stallion don't sell out. She don't even really sell music like that. She only has certifications merely because of streams. All right. So they want us to believe. So this was recently updated with her a few uh, hours ago. So they want us to believe that she sold out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve arenas. Where are all these people at when it, when she drops a project? Why didn't these people go to her uh, virtual reality tour that she that she had like two years ago? Nobody came out and supported it. You really want me to think that Megan Thee Stallion sold out Madison Square Garden? So what I personally believe is I think that for, for certain venues, they have the ability to, to limit the limit the capacity that's one thought they have a, they have the ability to limit the capacity in, in regards to how much is being sold or whatever i know somebody mentioned before that they said that madison square garden has a theater so maybe they're using the name and trying to confuse that and i don't know i don't know the truth to that but what i'm saying is firmly and you could take it as hate but i don't believe that making the sign you sold that out um they're saying that she sold out houston so it looks like she sold out chicago detroit new york philadelphia uh baltimore atlanta riley so she added a second show for 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 Atlanta, Riley, North Carolina, Hollywood, uh, not Hollywood, Florida, Tampa, Florida, Dallas, Texas, Austin, Texas, Houston. She added another date in Los Angeles. So I just personally, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't, I don't believe it at all, and I don't care if you think that I'm hating or not. Uh, I just. I just personally don't believe it. What I what I believe is, is that these scouters, they purchase those tickets and we're going to see those tickets on resale sites and they just trying to make it look good to make it seem like she got that power. Now, Megan Thee Stallion, she's going to be out here and she's going to inspire Cardi B to book her tour and then they're going to end up doing the same thing. Listen, I don't care. I don't think that she sold these dates out. Get in the comments and let me know what you think about it. You think Megan really got that motion like that? So if Megan got motion like that and people open their wallets up and they want to go see her in tour, why they not buying the physical co copy of her album? Why she she never even crossed over 10,000 pure sales with an album. It don't make sense. So these people want to see you, but they don't want to invest in you. Like, let's be serious. Let's really be serious. The other thing I want to move on to is Akbar. So, you know, Nikki had uh, two nights in Atlanta and she had an after party. Well, they saying that Kalan was at was at uh the after party so akbar was out there and she was singing the big she was uh you know amping the crowd up to the bigfoot lyrics and all of that right so let's see so what did he say Kalan, Kalan, you know, you know, you know the lyrics of the Bigfoot. So Kalan made a comment saying Akbar feet doing the sign language like relax, girl. So Akbar, she commented to him. She said, not too much, short dog, baby, F you. And so she said uh, again to him, I was born with these feet, babe. I'm trying to see if this on some shade ish or you joking. I'm trying to find out because, you know, I'll curse you to F out and I could get my feet fixed if I want to. I chose not to. But I was at my paid hosting on the mic. Like I said, I don't have beef with Meg, but don't make it something you don't even say ish to um, to the person whose song it is. But you coming for me, boy, bye. You going to be fired next. Listen, she ain't going to fire him because he's with the antics. If y'all don't remember, Kalan did Nikki's hair on the um on the Nikki Hendrix tour in Europe when she did that. He did her hair. He's a op. I don't like a lot of these dudes. I don't like them. A lot of them. Commentators. Uh, I don't like a lot of them. Like they got weird energy. And it's like you should be trying to not speak on Nikki. Nikki never did nothing to Kalan. A lot of these personalities and these people like they just got I, he should he should just stay away from it. Let Megan handle it. So. Akbar then said, child, I was drunk, ad libbing the song. I talk ish, I I joan and play and play y'all are too way too serious. I don't have no problem with Meg. This is rap entertainment. Uh, that's her and Nikki beef, but the song hard and I, it was requested. I was at a paid hosting. It was funny. If you know me, I talk smack about myself and baby, I'm hood. Jo we joan all day. So that was the hosting that Akbar hosted at. I just felt like Kalan shouldn't have said nothing. He shouldn't have said nothing. So um, Akbar said, Kalan Derek, you about to get fired. What you doing at my Nikki night and talking ish about me on the mic of my hosting? Yeah, you ain't low. Uh, now you in my comments talking smack, but pulled up to the hosting. Boy, social media is a clout place because you could have just scrolled past and shut the F up. So was that Kalan there? Was it? Let me know. Was that him in the building? Hmm.
I don't know. I will say this though. I understand Akbar's a admiration and love for Nikki, but why is you hosting a Nikki Minaj night? Like that's just a little too weird for me. Anyway, let's move on. Uh let's DJ Academics, he trolling Meek Mill. So he bought a new Maybach. He said, This is what you get after you destroy Meek Mill's career. Now that car is really nice. That's yo, that's a nice vehicle. So I want to know, yo, them, them, the interior, the interior got them feeling the fivia. That's nice. That that's that's real nice. So um Meek Mill, you know, he's a laughing stock. He was out here talking about he would never be in the 50, 60,000 as far as sales. And then he sold 6,000 copies of his latest album. I want to know what y'all think about that. So anyway, let's move right on to the, the Bodak Yellow Princess. Cardi B is out here with Nicki's bundle still. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all, right? Cardi is out here with Shakira. She dropped this song, Puntaria. She's trying to do the Santaria. Trying to go out to Santa Domingo. How did this song do um, on the charts or whatever? I know that it debuted with 1.89 million uh, radio. You know, we're going to talk about Cardi B and radio too. But listen, Cardi, she on here talking about emp empanada and this and that. I'm like, girl, just go away. Like she's trying to, and what I noticed, notice this now with Cardi B when it comes to the way that she's trying to sound on these songs. She wants to sound really pretty. You know, she wants to sound really pretty. This can never be me. I will never be she's trying to have this light voice like pretty and even in this song i feel like this is, cardi b is convoluted because she tries to steal flows and approaches from nikki um megan the stallion she just sounds like a culmination of female rappers and she don't sound like herself like to me in my opinion i just don't like it i don't like it and she's still running around here with nikki's bundles still running around here with Nikki's bundles like oh man like I think that she personally wears her hair like that because you remember um her and Nikki was cool before she started like wearing her hair like anytime I see somebody with their hair like that I think of Nikki I don't care how you feel or whatever I don't care so one thing I wanted to put y'all on to was this is the radio charts and you know that I watch stats and everything all like that right so I put Cardi B name in control F let's hit that up control F and let's put Cardi the only thing that comes up is her song with Flo Millie, right? And Flo Millie is the one really responsible for all of this. When the remix come out, the other people's names just get added to it. So that's Flo Millie, right? So that's Cardi. And then her song with Shakira, Puntaria, Santaria, from Santa, Santa Domingo. So that song is there, but where is Enough? Where is Enough? Enough gained over 15 million radio, right? I want to show this to you. You know how big Ariana Grande is? Her song, um, We Can't Be Friends, that is uh, number 68. So that's going up. Cardi B's song was like right here at like the top 100 at the end of the week. That means just like y'all remember Jealousy when it came out, it rose and then all of a sudden it dropped out to nowhere. See, people saying, yeah, Glow is also surviving off of streams only. Yeah, Glow and Glorilla, she was recently on a um, video online talking about that. You know, people was hating on her for cha-cha-cha. Like, sit down and be happy that you got something right now because you don't know, we don't know what's to follow. And then, you know, the radio is pumping money into you too. So that's Cardi. I want to know where is enough at? Is the Payola games over? Like, what now? So Nicki Minaj, everybody, top 20 on overall radio. F the club up, number 59, you know, uh, rising as well. So shout out to Nicki Minaj. And, you know what I'm saying? Let's move right on to and um, show this real quick. So Cardi B, she her enough is to debut at number eight. That's the prediction on this page that enough is going to debut at number eight after they pumped all that radio play and all of those versions out there. So she's just going to get number eight. You see Doja Cat is right there. Doja has a real talent. She's been, you know, she's been kind of teetering up and down on the charts depending on new releases but people like agora hill so shout out to doja cat and also doja is doja cat will be performing at hot 97 summer jam i wonder how that's gonna go for her. i wonder if the summer jam crowd would eat her up or not um i'm kind of concerned about that because doja cat like i don't know we'll we'll see though we'll see how how people react to that also, uh, honorable mention I wanted to sh show is that Future and Metro Boomin's Like That featuring Kendrick Lamar is aiming for a top three debut on the Billboard's Hot 100 chart, currently challenging for number one. Yo, I know this is going to eat Drake up, and I know that Drake is going to be coming with something soon. He got to come with something soon. He going to release another version of that album, or he going to hop on somebody's single, somebody remix, and he going to go crazy. So shout out to Future, Metro Boomin, and Kendrick Lamar. You know, Kendrick set the streets ablaze. He set the streets ablaze on... um 
on Friday with that release. One thing I wanted to show y'all too was Nicki Minaj uh, borrows fans' cowboy hat during the Orlando concert. Now, if you know, last night Nicki was uh, in Gag City, Orlando, and I'm gonna say this. And I know y'all might not. Hold on. You see her taking the hat, right? I'm gonna say this. Nikki, you know I love you, right? And we all know that you just getting over the, you know, the the flu and being sick. I just personally feel like I know that she likes that connections with the connections with the fans and stuff like that. But taking the person's cowboy hat, you don't know they've been breathing over that all night. Aspirations like, baby, you just got out the woods with, you know, feeling better. Just I get it, though. I understand fully. But leave them people cowboy hat alone. Now, she had her own hat. I understand and all that. But we need Nikki to be at her best, you know. Uh, I was one of those people who also said, I think Nikki needs to go away with the, she should go away with the um, meet and greets because it's just too up and close and personal. And she has a young, she has a son and all of that. And that's like, it's too much. I don't know. Not saying that the energy exchange is bad, but it's like, you know, the COV is still very real and people be walking around here sick and they won't, they will still show up and go to events sick and all. So just be careful, Nikki, because, mm -hmm. you know, we rooting for you and we want the best for you and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, get in the comments. Let me know what you thought about anything that I discussed in this video. This is your boy, Leron, potent, potent pondering. And uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about Megan Thee Stallion. You think she sold out those dates or what do you think that is? Let me know what you also think about um, Cardi B walking around here with Nicki's bundles. Why did her song Enough all of a sudden is missing from out of the radio charts? That's weird. You do it yourself. Do the research yourself. Go to Quorb.net, K-W-O-R-B dot N-E-T. And see, like, why is her song missing? It was there, you know, right there last week. That's odd to me. Um, so listen, your boy LeBron, potent pondering. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, all of that. Sub also support the channel. The cash app is on the screen. Dollar sign cookie confidant eighty three. I'm up out of here. Peace.